I'm devastated. This is where Iris and Ota almost got killed, right? Gives me goosebumps. You scared? That's rare. You need to chill. You need to get better jokes. Oh, I understand. Chill, meaning both cold and relax. A pun intended. Don't explain it, it's embarrassing. Blood. Ota was down around here, right? Correct. The bloodstains there must belong to Ota. Correct. No, wait. That's where the polar bear's leg was pierced by the hook. Does he really not actually have a stomach wound? They took him in to perform surgery. I hadn't even seriously entertained this because he was actually in the hospital. Are you, does he seriously not actually have a wound? Date, I've analyzed the blood. The blood stain here is not from a single person. Okay. Two different blood types are present. One of them is most likely Ota's. The other. Hey, do you have DNA forensics on that blood stain? Of course, yeah. I already sent it to the lab to be analyzed. I'm just waiting to hear back. Why are you waiting? Because that blood is from Ota Matsushita's wound, right? I didn't think there was any need to rush the results. Tell them we need it analyzed urgently. Highest priority. The culprit's blood is mixed with Ota's. Yes, sir. Understood. Kind of surprised he didn't ask how he knew that. You did it, Date. We're making progress. If this goes well, we can identify the criminal with a single test. Well, assuming they're logged in a database. But it might take some time for the results to come out. No point waiting here. We might as well check somewhere else. Got it. It's still... No diner. I'm just gonna go down the list. Take your time. Oh, the controller became unplugged. I didn't even fucking notice. God damn it. I was like, I didn't think this was a loading screen. Nope, it's just completely unplugged. This thing is falling apart. I remember telling you before. That Bloom Park is an important part of my memories. Before it shut down, I came here a lot with Daddy and Mom. They fought a lot, but sometimes they got along. Whenever we were here, it was one of those sometimes days. I remember it clearly. I was just a little girl, but it was so rare to see them laughing together. That's why I remember it so well. I remember riding the merry-go-round like this. Mom was standing right next to me. She was holding me so I wouldn't fall. Other than last Friday? Nope. I haven't. This place has been off limits for almost a decade. Even if it wasn't, I don't think I would want to come back here. Well, yeah, not now. Why is that? Bro. How can I explain it? I guess I just wanted to keep that memory beautiful. I didn't want to ruin it or replace it with another. But in the end, it was replaced with the worst memory possible. Daddy was on the outside taking pictures of me and Mom. He was on the other side of the fence with an old camera. Every time we passed in front of him, Mom and I would wave our hands. <laughs> we sound like a happy family, huh? To be honest, I was kind of he thinking I might see a pictures. fucking camera over there. No, actually. We tried developing them at the park, but they came out all blurry and out of focus. But Mom wasn't mad or upset or anything. That might have been the first and last time the three of us laughed out loud together. Jesus fucking Christ. No, not the, not the pole. I couldn't get on many of them because I was so little, but I did ride the Ferris wheel. 
and the panda ride. They're kind of tame now, but at the time they were really fun. Why did you say it like that? What did the pandas do? I was having so much fun, it felt wrong. Like it was too good to be true. I didn't say anything as Mizuki climbed down from the horse. Then she asked me something strange. Hey, Date, how do you define family? Define it? You mean like being blood related? That would mean you and I could never be family. Well, I guess that's okay. That's okay. This is what I think. A family is a perfectly ordinary relationship in the most ordinary way. What? Huh? Like, you say, I'm home, and you get a welcome home back. Doing those ordinary things automatically, without even thinking about it, is what a family is. Okay, I see what you mean. That makes sense. That's why maybe me and mom and daddy weren't able to be a family. Our whole lives, we never could be ordinary. Even if I tried my hardest to be normal, it would just be awkward. Eventually, I got tired of trying. I killed them. What? What? I killed what? mom and daddy. What? I... I was never a good girl. I didn't listen to mom. I couldn't do ordinary things. That's why mom hit me. Duh. And why mom and daddy didn't get along. What a piece of shit. And why they got divorced. Then mom had to start working and start doing business with dangerous people. Your mom's a piece of shit. If I was just a good girl. Your mom is a piece of shit. Mom wouldn't have been killed. This... All of this is all my fault. Jesus Christ. Why me? Hey, haven't you had enough? Why me? No, I'm not married, so take this with a grain of salt, but it's not just you, right? Doesn't every family have a tough time raising children? Our child is abnormal. Oh my God, you piece of shit. Abnormal? Ever since she was a baby, no child should cry at night as much as she did. Oh my god, shut your fucking mouth. No child should dislike buggy rides that much. No child should ask to be picked up and hugged all the time. Shut the fuck up, you piece of shit. I want to crack your head on the counter. She's still abnormal even now. Other children would have learned to clean up after themselves by now. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. It would be studying, going to bed on time, waking up on time. I'm glad you're dead. Why is my little girl? I'm glad you're fucking dead. I hope it hurt. She sounds like a normal kid to me. Maybe the problem isn't with Mizuki. Maybe it's you. It's definitely with her. I'm doing more than anyone. Our child is stupid, brain dead, abnormal. <laughs> Date, honey, you can't work her up like that. She's a piece of shirt. Oh my fucking god. Sleeping at home, not knowing that her mother is crying her eyes out because of her. I quit my job for that girl. I threw away the career that I built with my own hands. I raised my child at the expense of my own life. But one little slap. Are you hitting your kid? Yeah, she's a piece of shit. There's nothing I can do. I have no choice. Oh my fucking god. I know you should never raise your hand to a child. But you did it anyway, which makes it worse. I know that. I know that. And yet you did it anyway, you piece of fucking trash. But I have a good reason. No, you don't, you waste of skin. She doesn't listen to me. So what else am I supposed to do? Oh my god. <sighs> what the hell do you mean, what am I supposed to do? That's no reason to hit a child. So of course she starts crying. Yeah, I bet she fucking did. And it's so irritating that I have to hit her again to get her uh, to Oh. <clears throat> and Mizuki cries and cries some more. Why are you crying? 
If you're gonna cry, why didn't you just listen to me in the first place? <laughs> then I wouldn't have to hit you. <laughs> Stupid Mizuki. Stupid girl. It's not my fault. Everything is her fault. Have you talked to Renju about this? I'm trying. I'm trying harder than anyone. Why doesn't anyone see that? Why doesn't anyone understand? <laughs> Date. Yeah, I'll talk to Renju about this. I'm glad she's fucking dead. Misunderstanding. What do you mean? I thought that mothers love their children unconditionally. But some mothers just can't do that. Well, no. Maybe she does love her. Doesn't sound like it. But she has a hard time of it. Shoko was never hugged by her mother. Not because her mother wasn't around. She was raised to never develop a sensitivity to affection. No hugs, no piggyback rides, nothing. Maybe that's why she doesn't know how to love Mizuki. When an animal raised in captivity gives birth, sometimes it just doesn't know how to raise its young. It's just like that. I don't know. But that doesn't mean she's blameless enough. I do this. not feel bad at all. Someone has to put a stop to it. If I could have, I would have done it a long time ago. What about counseling? I did recommend that. She told me, I'm not sick. Why should I go see a doctor? Look, the fact that you didn't do anything despite this, you know, apparently knowing this is going on, makes you just as fucking bad. Mizuki is the problem. Mizuki is the sick one. No, Mizuki would never leave Shoko. She wouldn't hear of it. Mizuki and Shoko are practically attached at the hip. Mm -hmm. Even with all the hitting. Yes. Even if she's abused on a daily basis, even if she's treated like garbage, maybe. You stupid fuck. Mizuki is hungry for love. She craves praise and attention and physical affection. She wants it from her mother. That's why she's so attached. I have a company now. Lemniscate. And we're at a crucial stage of development. I can't take even a single second out of my day to deal with a kid. I don't care how fucking busy you are. You know your daughter is being abused. I don't care how fucking busy you are, it's not an acceptable excuse. Hey, that's your daughter you're talking about. Maybe because you two can't cooperate on raising a child, Shoko is having trouble coping. Shoko's a piece of shit, and this guy's a fucking moron. That might be it. Maybe this is partially my fault. It is. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna say it. You two are both awful parents. Extremely correct. Jesus fucking Christ. That's why four years ago, I decided to start taking care of Mizuki. <laughs> Mizuki, you did nothing wrong. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. Not one single thing was your fault. <laughs> oh, I'm so fucking mad. Huh? 
Why are we at the shrine? Did you come here to pray that you find a criminal? No, I don't believe in God. I came to pray that your mother's burning in hell. Controller, please. Wow, Please. how edgy teen of you. Don't call me a teen. You're 12. Well, you said that you got the shoulders of a 40-year-old. That's not even remotely similar. So why are we really here? I sometimes come here when an investigation stalls. It helps me think. Sometimes I even solve the case from here. This is a quiet, peaceful little spot in the middle of a violent city. It's calming. It keeps all of the bad thoughts away. Didn't expect you to be such a poet. You could at least call me a romantic. Same thing. They're not at all the same thing. It's the difference between someone who's frugal and someone who's cheap. Corporate wants you to find the difference between these two pictures. They're the same picture. You're stubborn about weirdly specific things. Looks rather solemn. Sure. Is this like the shrine from the story? Can we investigate something here? Probably not. That's the monument. I can't read it. What does it say? Well, when riding on a train, people on opposite sides of the car doors shouldn't stare at each other. True. That's what it says. That is definitely a lie. Coming here reminds me of when I trained you. Yeah, it's been a while since we came here last. Trained. I have nothing more to teach you. Let us see the results of your training. Leave it to me. Begin! I really didn't think this would be this kind of game. Well, this is on you. Huh? Hey! What are you two doing? Mizuki, run for it! Uh, wait for me! I really didn't think it would be the kind of game where people just casually have superpowers. By the way, whatever happened to those kids who bullied you? Oh, did I not tell you? No. You haven't said anything about it. I didn't want to pry. I killed them. They stopped poking me as soon as I threatened to fight back. They targeted some other kids instead. They did terrible things. So I... You could have broken all their bones. I broke all their front teeth. <laughs> Close enough. Jeez. Hey, since we're here, let's go into the shrine. I told you, I don't believe in that stuff. Come on. Come Stop on. being cringe. What did you ask for? To leave this boring place as soon as possible. And you? <laughs> it's a secret. When you tell people your wish, it won't come true. Then why did you ask me? Because if your dream doesn't come true, mine is more likely to. I don't know that that's how that works. You're more crooked than a hernia. Huh? Anyway, where to next? <laughs> I'm still mad. Well, I suddenly became really paranoid that I'm going to run out of space. Okay, I shouldn't run out of space. Now I can't see that window anymore. Ah, there we go. 
Cursor. Cursor. Mother, brother, my brother in Christ. What the fuck? Holy shit, I refuse. Uh, no, sorry. But I did see a guy who had legs like a horsehair crab. What the fuck does that mean? What? Sounds horrifying. I don't want to do it. Good idea. You might find something important in there. Didn't find anything that could be a clue. <sighs> Damn. No hits. Do not be discouraged. Bad days and sore feet are part of the job. Time to earn my paycheck, I guess. Oh, Mr. I could leave. Could you go to the office? Ask them if they've seen anyone with an injured left leg. Got it. Why won't you let me go to the diner? Squeakers, what's going on? What's going on back there? We good? Okay. She returned dejected. Looks like it didn't go well. No. Yeah, sure we didn't, because they're not here. Sometimes we would talk when I came over to hang out. What kind of things did you talk about? Nothing special. The usual? The usual? Are you doing well? Have you been eating right? Huh, so that's the usual. I'm not asking her about her tits, I refuse. I visited Sunfish Park with Mizuki, where Renju was killed. Once again, I looked for any clues we might have missed. I guess it was a waste of time. Yeah, I didn't find any clues. Um, not really. Because this is where Daddy's corpse was? I told you before, it's fine. I was the one who said I wanted to come with you. Yeah. Nothing we can do here. If only they'd let me go to the diner. Mizuki and Date. Hey. Quick question. First, how's the leg? Second, can I see your knife? Ota, are you okay? Yeah, totally. Oh, I don't want to get in your way. I should head home before I cause any more trouble. No, not at all. You're fine right here. Hey, just show us how your walk's doing. Show us how your gait is, you know? No, really, I should go. I'm sure that he has more fun with his friends than with me, so... She quickly shuffled Thanks, out of the room. She wasn't limping. Huh? You're, are you telling me she wasn't limping? Her leg looked fine. You came to visit me, right? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, yeah. Right. It would be awkward to admit we are only here for the investigation. Yeah. So about the investigation. So we still don't know who the culprit is? If you remember anything at all, please tell me. Well, maybe that all depends. If you could get me, say, Tessa's toothbrush, it might jog my memory. Ah, my brother in Christ. Please, fucking... Stop. Are you really going to do this in front of Mizuki? Or in general? It's fine. Mizuki proofreads the light novels I write. I'm sure she's used to it by now. 
What are you making her read? Lots of things, like... W wait, Mizuki, you don't have to tell him! What are the tags on it? No, just what I told you yesterday. All right. You know, if you weren't in the hospital, I would slap you upside the head so hard you start remembering things again. Like shock therapy? Whoa, old school. I thought Abyss was more future tech than that. We are, but if it ain't broke, you can learn a lot from the past. I don't like this conversation. I see. Maybe you should hit him. No, no. He does deserve it, to be fair. No way. Ota's pretty energetic for being in bed all day. He's the type that gets annoying around women. <laughs> She's right. Forget me. Are you okay? You passed out last night. Yeah, I'm fine. I feel much better after a good night's sleep. It sounded like you were having a nightmare. You kept moaning something about... Reika. Reika. Seriously? Seriously. Yeah, let's go. Wait, you two just got here. It's okay. We saw you. Now we can go. <sighs> we already have Ota's testimony. It is unlikely he has any further useful information. Any chance I can just go look at the fucking knife at the right. diner now? Where to now, Date? Hmm. Eh, we should... I'll do him anyway. Have you heard about Iris? The nurse was talking about her a minute ago. That she's still in the ICU? Yeah. Uh, apparently the surgery went well, but she hasn't woken up yet. Hey, Ota. Next time we should fold a thousand paper cranes to wish that Iris will get better. Yeah. We could even make her a life-size crane. That would be a somewhat troublesome gift. I heard that you fought off the killer and saved Iris. Mm. That's so cool, Ota. You have a wound of honor. No, not really. Well, I guess a little. Calling me a hero. It's kind of embarrassing. I didn't call you a hero. It is a good thing Iris was saved. But he's still irritating. Even more irritating than seeing cosplay in public. What? What a randomly and weirdly hostile thing to say. What the fuck was that? Like, what's your problem? So that's the situation. I see. Someone with an injured left leg, huh? I never got to tell you, but I think she's very cute. I could just eat her up. Um, okay. Oh, don't worry, sweetie. I only really want to eat men. Oh, <gasps> Date, what are you making me say? You said that on your own. Oh, come on. Isn't a gentleman supposed to cover for a lady's slip of the tongue? Who is the lady Mama is referring to? What the fuck do you mean? She's talking about herself. Why'd you say that? Don't ask me. Why'd you say that? She's talking about herself. Why are you all saying this? I've looked into it, but I still don't have anything useful for you. The case is still as fresh as a young man's juices. What does that mean? I have no idea. Pikes... Pikes... <laughs> Spike Chunsoft really can't stop doing it, can they? They just keep doing it. Sorry, no idea. Damn, I thought you of all people would know something. I am an informant, but really dangerous information doesn't just come rolling in here. 
But I promise, I'll keep my eye out for anything. Please do. And if I find something, you have to take a bath with me. Absolutely not. Oh, why not? Because you take up all the hot water. That's your issue? I promise I won't. I'll even take the costume off. It's a costume? Mm-hmm. And I look good without it. Thanks for the chat, Mama. Oh, leaving already? I have an investigation to finish, but I'll be back. You are so impatient, even though you take your time in bed. Don't say things like that. In bed? What does that mean? You don't need to know. Let's go. They really just keep doing it, don't they? They just can't seem to help themselves. Yes, what's up? I need you to come to Abyss headquarters with Mizuki. I was just heading there. Did something happen? Yeah, the head office is here. They want to get information from Mizuki. We here at Abyss have her testimony, but the rest of the NPD wants to hear from her. They didn't get anything from her last time. They want to do an official questioning. I don't like the sound of this. I want to keep investigating. There's nothing we can do. We can't fight the power of the state. You are the power of the state. Abyss is a toenail on the foot of the state. As far as they're concerned, we don't really do anything, and we don't have any say in what they do. And any time we get too troublesome, they cut us off. Why? Oh, stupid Dante. Are you, like, the cutting-edge tech department? Like... Sorry for the trouble. Don't worry about it. I'm just a slave to you anyway. Oh, come on. I don't treat you like a slave, do I? Just because I sometimes make you lick between my toes? Ew, what? I didn't lick anything. Anyway, thanks, Dante. Spike Chun's off be normal for five seconds challenge. Impossible. And don't worry about Mizuki. I told HQ to take it easy. Mizuki, just make sure you behave and listen. The vibe is It'll off. It'll be over soon. Don't worry. I don't like the sound of this. The vibe's off. Besides that... Date, there's something I have to tell you. You have a message from one of the inspectors at the warehouse. He wants to give you some information in person at the warehouse. Why? Could he have... The blood results? I'll head over right away. Why do I have to be there? Mizuki, you be a good girl, okay? Ugh. Jeez. Why can't he just call me? Date, sorry to make you come all the way down here. Yeah, why did you do that? But I have the results of the DNA analysis. You could have called me. What did you find? It's just like you said. There were two different blood signatures. One is definitely from Oda Matsushita. The other. Huh? Well, we got the results, but we couldn't find any matches in our database. Mm -hmm. 
That is not surprising. HQ does not have a complete record of everyone's DNA. Mm -hmm. What now? What now? Do not panic. I have a piece of information I think you should know. What is it? I have discovered a suspicious person at your 12 o'clock. 200 yards. He's looking this way. A person? Huh? What? What the fuck are you doing here? That's... So Sejima. What the fuck? I don't believe it. His left leg. Huh? So Sejima! Stop! Why did he have her knife? Damn it! Why? But it's him. So's the culprit. Why did he have Miyumi's knife? Calm down. We cannot yet make that conclusion. He was only dragging his left leg. But he's been all over this case so far. Why did he have Miyumi's knife? Shoko and Renju are both in bed with the Kumakuras, and the Kumakuras know so. And not just that. We saw him in Iris' Somnium. Still. And he has no alibi. But why does he have Miyumi's knife? No alibi for Shoko, Renju, or the warehouse. Date, calm down. The only thing we have so far is circumstantial evidence. So, look, in fairness, all evidence is actually circumstantial. I've talked about this before, <laughs> like, you could hear a gunshot, go into the other room to check, see somebody holding a gun, and that's technically circumstantial evidence. Because there's explanations as to why they could have that gun that don't mean they're guilty. You know, it's still circumstantial, even though it's pretty convincing. We also do not have any established motive. What well, the, the problem I'm having is that in the Somnium, he had Mayumi's knife. Why would he kill Shoko and Renji? Why would he cut out Iris's eyeball? Well... However, I do agree that So is suspicious. Do you agree with me or not? Why was he here also? I am explaining to you that we currently do not have enough evidence to bring him in. Confronting him now would only result in him denying everything. We need direct evidence. Direct evidence. The criminal's blood from the cold storage warehouse. If the DNA matches So's... Right. We need to get So's DNA. The question is, how? Where can we get So's DNA? Hey, Aiba, do you remember when we went to the Kumakura's office Sunday? Of course. I am incapable of forgetting anything. Then let me ask you a question. What was on the table in front of the sofa? Oh, the cigarette. The cigarette butts. So was smoking those cigarettes. Exactly. And so saliva might still be on the butts. If we have that, we have So's DNA. Wait a moment. That was two days ago. The ashtray must have been emptied by now. But there's a chance. We have to at least try. Hmm. I agree. All right, let's head there. I didn't remember that. I just didn't think he'd let us in his house and the other two didn't seem likely, so... Hey, what are you doing here? You fucking with us, old man? Date, don't bother. I know. I approached the sofa without saying anything. I looked at the ashtray on the table. Hey. But. Where are the cigarette butts that were in here? Huh? The cigarette butts. From when I was here a few days ago. We threw them away, of course, dumbass. Where, dumbass? Uh, why do you care about some cigarettes? 
I need them for the investigation of the new Cyclops serial killings. I see. Just last morning, I heard there was a new victim. I didn't watch it, but I heard something about it being streamed online. Stop Boy, showing me out. this. I know that, idiot. Sorry. And you're here for the investigation? Yes. So if I cooperate, it'll help you arrest this guy? Correct. All right. Look around as much as you want. Huh? Yeah. That was easy. You said you were looking for cigarette butts, right? Yeah. The one So was smoking. So Sejima? You think he did it? No, nothing for sure yet. Hey guys, where's the cigarettes that were in here? Why is he suddenly so interested in this? Probably in the trash in the back, boss. Bring me the one that So was smoking. Yes, sir. Why is he suddenly being so cooperative? Came back with four cigarette butts in a plastic bag. I used disposable chopsticks to lay them out on the table. I didn't touch him. I'm being considerate, I see. But why did you bring four? There were a couple of other cigarette butts in the bin. I didn't know which one so smoked. Moma? I don't remember. But so cigarette is definitely one of these? Yeah, it's gotta be. Date, remember the brand that so was smoking? Right. He was smoking. Fuck, dude. I don't remember. Klein? Klein. I remember him. So was smoking a Klein cigarette. Correct. I wrapped the Klein cigarette button in a handkerchief and pocketed it. Let's return to Abyss. Pewter should be able to get DNA from it. Got it. Looks like you found it. Yeah, thanks to you. Ah, uh, this was nothing. Anything for Tessa. I see he's a simp. Tessa? Did you just say Tessa? What are you talking about, you Neanderthal? I said anything for Tesseract. Okay, dude. That doesn't even make sense. Okay, if you say so. Shut up! Whatever you say, Mama. Whatever you say. You're definitely not just a massive simp or anything. You're done here. Get your ass going. Okay. <laughs> All right. Whatever you okay, say. Okay, simpy. Whatever. Counting on you, Pewter. You can leave it to me. If the DNA on that cigarette butt matches the blood stain in the warehouse, there would be no doubt that So Sejima is our mysterious polar bear. How long will it take to analyze? Mm -hmm. If I had six hours, you've got three. <laughs> It's totally unreasonable, but I suppose I will do my best to have this analyzed in three hours. You know, the worst part is that this isn't really going to prove very much, is it? Because all this is really going to prove is he was in the panda suit, and I guess that he stabbed... Uh, Ota, but it's not actually gonna prove that he's the murderer. You folded pretty easily on that one. I want to catch the criminal as soon as possible. That's all. Now, because time is of the essence, excuse me. How is Mizuki, by the way? They finished questioning her. I had one of the officers take her home. She should be there by now. Good. So, Sejima. Can't believe it, of all people. This all seems so weird. We don't know that for sure yet. Like, this being so... will honestly raise more questions than it will answer. But you saw that his leg was injured, right? It's pretty damning evidence. Don't be too hasty, boss. 
you were saying the same thing earlier. The problem is that that doesn't really prove all that much still. Anyway, let's wait for the results. That will clear everything up. Yeah, you're right. I hope this won't be trouble. If we're speaking like truly pragmatically as well, doesn't even necessarily prove he was in the panda suit unless we could the panda suit the polar bear suit unless we can find the polar bear suit trouble it's nothing don't worry about it because the only one that actually has said that the polar bear got hit by the crane is Ota hmm? Wait, what did she say I was kind of in my own world. I hope this won't be trouble. Hmm. Pewter, is it true? The results are in? Yes. The DNA I collected from the cigarette butt is a positive match to the bloodstain from the warehouse. Really? It was so all along. He was the polar bear. He carved out Iris's eye and stabbed Oda and probably killed Renju and Shoko. But why did he have Mayumi's knife? Making so Sejima the new Cyclops killer. And why did he kill Renju and Shoko? Thank you, Pewter. Iris I can think of an explanation for because it seems like he had some sort of illicit interaction with her, you know. But Ren and Sho Renju and Shoko? Why? Don't thank me yet. Hurry up and get some. Yeah, you're right. I turned around and made my way to the exit. But right when I was about to open the door, it was open from the other side. Boss. Boss, listen. The blood stain in the cold storage warehouse. I know. I got a report from Pewter. Well, then you already know. I'm heading there right now. Heading where? Where else? To So's house. Date, I'm sorry, but you can't do that. What? I can't let you get so. Boss, I don't understand. This comes from the top. So and the head office have been tightening it for 20 years now. They can't go against So's wishes. It's corruption and bribes to be sure, but there's also some kind of blackmail. Blackmail? So knows something. Something that the public can never know. If that secret got out, the authority of law would be thrown into question, and the entire police force would be at risk. So has something on HQ? Yes, almost certainly. This is presumably to do with the old Cyclops killer, right? That's why I can't let you go. Do you understand? Hell no. I see. Then I'm sorry, but I have no choice but to take you off this case. Hey, boss, come on. This timeline's about to end, I serious? see. Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me! I had enough. I pushed past, past boss and left the room. I walked with a confident stride down the hall with no hesitation. I had made up my mind. I was gonna get so to going to So Sichman's mansion. Got in my car, turned the key, slammed my foot on the gas. Date, are you sure you want to do this? You still have a chance to turn around. If you put your hands on So. You will never be able to return to Abyss. I don't care. I don't want to work for a rotten organization in the pocket of some politician. When this is over, I'll open a restaurant in Okinawa or something. Bro, you're going to be in prison. Wait! Oh, should I make it a soba place instead? That's not what I mean. You have a video message. The video? Look! <sighs> Mizuki! Shit! Who is responsible? 